Good morning, Louisville. Hey, everyone, want to come on inside? We got a little few more seats up here. Want to talk about slack adjusters? A little bit of important part of your braking system. Um, my name is Mark Cromer. I'm the product manager for automatic slack adjusters for Bendix and Knorr Bremsa globally. And I want to talk a little bit about a component that you've all got on your trucks uh, and you use every day. Uh, automatic slack adjuster is an element that was introduced into the braking systems in North America in the early 1990s. And most people don't think much about them. They, th they just think it's a part that's on there. Uh, all the manufacturers make a similar product and they don't really understand sometimes what impact they can have on your bottom line and on the safety of your truck. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, why the Bendix Versa Adjust can give you an advantage to help you save some money in your operation and to help give you a little bit extra safety uh, when you're driving your truck. A lot of it starts with what happens with an automatic slack adjuster and when you're using your braking uh, doing some medium to heavy braking going down a hill. Uh, the drum brake's job is to absorb energy from the truck and turn that into heat. So it's very normal, the, heat, the drum heats up and expands a little bit and cools back down when you get to the bottom of the hill. And this is where the difference comes in between the VersaJust and some of our competitors. So what we have here to try to start off with a, a quick animation to try to describe the sequence is when you're making some braking and you've, you experience something called brake fade. Does anyone drive trucks here? You know what brake fade is? All right, so this is when your drum brakes are expanding and you have to push down a little bit further on your pedal so that your truck will slow down. Um, it's a normal thing. It happens on all trucks. It's been around for some time, and drivers are actually trained to deal with uh, what brake fade means to their trucks. Um, what that happens, though, on an automatic slack adjuster is the drums are expanding, and that drum is temporarily enlarged. In some cases, you can get an extra quarter inch to a half an inch of brake stroke. While that drum is temporarily enlarged, the automatic slack adjuster doesn't really know that the drum is hot. It, it thinks you just wore down some lining, and as you're hitting your brakes on the rest of the way down the hill, it's going to keep adjusting to try to keep that running clearance real small. However, when you get to the bottom of the hill and the drum cools back down, what you see a lot of times is uh, a dragging brake or a contact between the lining and the drum. And to a, many drivers, they don't really recognize this as an issue, uh, but the fleets recognize it when they go to do maintenance and they have to do uh, brake adjustments. They have to back them off to make sure their drums will... Uh, rotate freely and over time what that really does uh, is it actually is consuming your friction material a little bit faster than you need to regardless of what you have uh, placed on your wheel end and so the Bendix Verse Adjust what we've come up with is a slower adjusting mechanism so that when the drum heats up it doesn't chase that out and it, when the drum cools back down you still have the running clearance between the shoe and the drum and that really has uh, a big impact uh, one of the uh, field test that we did with a, a fleet in North America, we showed that with the Bendix Verse Adjust, we could extend lining life by up to 16%. Um, and it also extended drum life as well by about 30%. So that's real savings to your bottom line that you can really put in and show the advantage of one product over another. When I talked about the drum expanding there, the reason it's such a big impact is many slack adjusters have this really fast adjustment rate. So um, when you get that extra quarter inch of stroke from the drum expanding, an automatic, some of our competitive automatic slack adjusters can remove that extra gap in as little as 10 to 15 brake applications. So if you're going down a long downhill grade and you see the brake lights in front of you going on and off, that's the driver maintaining speed, making sure he's under control. But if he's in this situation with a real fast adjusting slack adjuster, he can find himself with that gap removed in uh, very quick order. And uh, the Bendix Verse Adjust has a much slower and more gradual adjustment rate, so it prevents that dragging and saves you that lining. Now, a lot of people don't think they have an issue with their, com with their slack adjusters because they say, hey, this isn't, uh, I don't have any problems with my brakes, my truck stops fine. Um, why do you think this is such a big an issue? And really what happens is there's some competitive slack adjusters out there that to in order to prevent this brake dragging situation, they're actually increasing the amount of free stroke or the gap between the shoe and the drum. I have a chart here just describing your brake chamber. So this is uh, talking about a brake chamber that has three inches of stroke. It's very common in North America to have a 30-30 brake chamber with a three inch stroke. And at the point where you reach three inches of stroke, there's no more power coming out of the brake chamber. And that's why the CVSA or the brake inspections on the side of the road, they require a maximum stroke limit. And if you're beyond that stroke limit, when you get inspected, you can get a ticket. You can even have uh, an impact on your CSA score in North America. And so what happens is uh, with some of our competitors, in order to solve the brake dragging issue, they'll actually increase this free stroke, which is that's how far the 
slack adjuster will move if you grab it and pull it when the shoes are uh, going to contact the drum. And so they'll increase that to reduce the brake dragging situation. But what that really does is eliminates or reduces your brake safety or your margin uh, to either getting a ticket or your safety margin where you don't have any more braking. Um, the blue bars here are the, are the free strokes that we see from uh, the Verse Adjust on top here and then some of our primary competitors. The gray bars represent the elasticity or the, the brake stretch, you know, how far everything kind of stretches when you hit a brake at a full brake application. And so when you go under and measure your brake stroke uh, at full pressure, you're measuring the end of this gray bar. And if you're on the side of the road and you're the CV CSA and compliance officer, if that bar is beyond that red line, that's when you get a ticket and you have to have your, your brake removed or your brake repaired before you can continue on your way. So we just want to point out that while there are some solutions to a brake drag situation, Bendix has come up with a way to not only resolve the brake drag situation, but also maintain the largest amount of compliance margin as well as safety margin for your trucks. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Are there any questions about brake adjustment or, or automatic slack adjusters from the from the crowd? Anyone from the back? No? All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming out today. Hope you have a good time at the show. Thank you. Thank you.